please quickly get down to the basement. The officials are waiting to take down your name. In the course of the service, you may be given the privilege to share with the people of God. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Shout aloud, hallelujah. Please, if you are in for second service, please rise upon your feet, lift up your voice, lift up your hands, and let's begin to celebrate him. If you are in for second service, please rise upon your feet, lift up your voice, lift up your hands, and let's begin to give him thanks. Blessed is the one that the Lord chooses and cause it to approach unto him. If you are the one he's talking to, you are blessed this morning, lift up your voice and lift up your hands and give him thanks. He has chosen you. And that's why he calls you to approach unto him that you may dwell before his presence this morning and that you are going to eat the goodness of his heart. Lift up your voice therefore and let's give him thanks. Father, thank you for causing us to come. Thank you for choosing us, making us your choice to approach unto you this morning and to dwell before your presence this morning. Lord, to enjoy the goodness of your house today. Lord, I am grateful for counting me to approach unto you. Lord, I thank you for what you have begun to do in my life. Give you thanks and give you praise. Is somebody giving thanks this morning? Lord, I thank you. Lord, I am grateful. I am in the land of the living. Thank you for taking sickness away from me. Thank you, Father, that I have approached unto you this day. I give you thanks in the name of Jesus. Jesus said to Bartimaeus, What would you have me do for you? What do you want to see God do for you today? What encounter do you desire today? Lift up your voice and give him thanks as you present your request before him. What you want to see God do in your life today. Remember, this is the third in the series of our pre Shiloh encounter service. There is an encounter for you today. Lift up your voice and make a presentation of that encounter before the Lord. Lord, I have come to be touched. Lord, I have come to be healed. Lord, I have come for a change of story. What is it you want God to do for you today? Lift up your voice and make a presentation of it. Lord, thank you for visiting me today. Today is my own day. I am not living here the same way I came in. Lord, I thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, now lift up your voice and begin to pray by the power of the Holy Spirit as we turn this service over into the hands of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we say thank you. In the precious name of Jesus. Is somebody shouting aloud, amen? amen? Somebody here, you have testimony to share. Make your way to the basement and get it documented. In the course of the service, you may be given the privilege. Please put your hands together as we welcome the choirs. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jehovah, very well, very well. 
Jesus is worthy. Hallelujah. Your hands together. Hallelujah. Big, big God, mighty God. Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Hallelujah. Big, big God, mighty God. Mighty God. Yeah. Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Hey, big, big God. Oh.
to be in this pre shilo encounter service. Give the Lord a shout of praise. You are going home with your encounter package today in the name of Jesus Christ. Put those glorious hands together for Jesus and please be comfortably seated in the presence of the Most High God. Hallelujah. We shall be welcoming ourselves to worship this second service from the book of Psalms 100. Psalm 100, Psalm 100. And we shall read responsively from verse 1 to the end. And I read. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lads. Two together. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And together we read verse 5, 1, 2, go. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations. Give the Lord a scream, somebody. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. Please listen to the announcements for today, the 7th of November. Number one, on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ and the pastorate of this church, I welcome you all to this first Sunday in the month of November. You shall experience divine visitation this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, we are all admonished to keep engaging in praying kingdom advancement prayers, following up on all our new converts and reaching out to more people for salvation. As the Lord lives, we shall not miss our rewards in Jesus' name. Number three, you are enjoined to encounter fresh fire at the prayer altar on a daily basis by attending the Covenant Hour Prayer from Monday to Saturday here in Goshen and other prayer centers with addresses displayed on the screen. Time is 5.30 a.m. daily. Number four, next Wednesday we shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast and gather in the evening to intercede for an encounter with more than a conqueror order of turnarounds via the communion. Ensure you come along with your new converts. Time is 6 p.m. Number five, every winner is encouraged to attend the weekly Winner Satellite Fellowship, which holds every Saturday at the centers nearest to your house. Don't forget to take someone along with you and ensure your new converts are also in attendance. Time is 5 p.m. Number six, good news. Shiloh 2021, more than a conqueror. The annual gathering of the winners worldwide is just four weeks away, and the theme is more than a conqueror. The date is 7th to 12th of December 2021. Every winner is admonished to intensify spiritual preparations for this annual prophetic feast. Expect diverse expect visitations of the Lord as we have always experienced for the past 22 Shiloh events. It shall be a most memorable season in the lives of all participants. Meanwhile, all who desire to camp in Goshen are admonished to make inquiries at the Shiloh stand at the various entrances to the auditorium. Number seven, next Sunday shall be a special communion service. It shall also be the fourth in our series of pre-Shiloh encounters. You are expected to come with just one desire which you want the Lord to bring to pass. Also come along with your new converts and other invitees. Time for the first service is 6.30, second service is 8.30 a.m. And the third service is 10.30 a.m. Number eight, another good news. The Youth Alive Fellowship shall be holding their annual Shabbat praise evening next Friday. Put your hands together for the Lord. All youth are invited, all members are invited, and the time is 5 p.m. Number nine, there shall be water baptism next Sunday. All who are yet to be baptized by immersion in water are admonished to come with a change of clothing. Number 10, visit the Dominion bookstores around the church auditorium to obtain books of the month and other resource materials that will empower you with the spirit of praise for all-round victory. These materials can also be accessed through our online bookstores with the link displayed on the screen. Number 11, all members are admonished to pay their tithes, vows, mission adoption scheme, and other financial commitments which they have made to the Lord. All checks should be made payable to Living Faith Church Goshen. 
Jesus is Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. It's testimony time. The following brethren to please come forward quickly to share their testimonies. Faith Dibia, Faith Dibia, Olabodi Anita, Dickness Kualima Aishatu, Kualima Aishatu, Olabodi Anita, and Faith Dibia. Please come forward to share your testimonies. Please listen to the following documented testimonies. Number one, Miracle Job via Kingdom advancement and divorce. Celebrate Jesus for that. I joined this commission in 2012 and I'm serving in the evangelism unit. In 2017, my contract job came to an end and for the past 21 months, I have been believing God for a better job. During that period, I've been engaging in kingdom and divorce tirelessly and bishop during one of the pre-Shiloh encounter services last year declared that while some will be entering Shiloh 2018 with prayer points, we shall be entering with our testimonies, and I claimed that word. That same day, I got a call to come for interview, and the expatriate who was coming to Nigeria for the first time on meeting me said he wants to walk with me because I am the right person. You are returning the right person today. On the second day of the prayer and fasting this year, my father in the house, Bishop Abiyoye, declared, that by daybreak, you will have a testimony to share. And that same day, they sent a WhatsApp message to me that I've been offered the job. I didn't check the message to the following day, being Thursday. I was called to resume on Friday. I have come to return the glory to God. The testifier is great, Isa. Celebrate Jesus some more. Please come quickly. Sylvester Okoro to please come forward to and share his testimony. Sylvester Okoro, your name and what the Lord has done. My name is Faith Dibye. I grew up not knowing my father, who my father was. So on the day of family, Covenant Family Day, I was here. That same day, I did my baptism. After the baptism, I had a counter with, with one of the pastors there. So uh, when he was giving me my certificate, he was like, this name is familiar. Where are you from? I told him what I normally tell people. He was like, no, be truthful. Be truthful to me. Tell me, what, what, where are you from? So I told him. He said, okay, I know somebody that is from your place. So he, gave, he called somebody and the person was like, what's your name? I told him, where are you from? I told him. He said, he shouted. He said, who is your father? I told him. I told him his name. He shouted and said, I am your sister. I will be looking for you for years. Before daddy died, he said, look for faith. That was the last thing he said when, before he died. I'm giving all the glory to God because I know there is no coincidence in the presence of God. It is just divine. May his name be highly exalted. Celebrate Jesus for that. 26 years, loss of contact, restored. My name is Ola Bodhi Anita. I want to bless the name of the Lord for breaking three years of academic stagnation in my life. I've been believing God for admission since 2017. And last year, God gave me my Shiloh package. He gave me two admission after, after the Shiloh, and which I was to choose the one I wish. And I want to bless the name of the Lord for adding another year to my years today. Thank you. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. I'm Dickness. I shall to attend to me. I serve with the Sanctuary Keeping Union. I joined this commission in 2001. I come from a family of nine at a point. All of us were almost lost to the world. Me and three of my sisters were Muslims. But my people kept praying for us. We, I got born again first. I kept praying for my family, serving God diligently. God restored all of my sisters. They are gloriously married and serving God today. Most of them in Goshen here. Secondly, my parents died, my father at 104, my mother at 103, knowing God, which is the glorious one. I, sat, I, I run an orphanage in New Carol with 105 children. We've been believing God for accommodation, praying diligently, serving God, going out for outreaches. Last month, God gave us accommodation and only him alone can explain it. Number three, 
On Saturday, God added another year to my years. Number four, the Almighty God, by His very own hand, used the United Nations to give me an award for humanitarian service on 29th. Then, in March next year, I will be inducted into the United Nations Global Hall of Fame. I return every glory back to God. Celebrate Jesus for the multiple testimonies. Make it bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger this morning. Shiloh 2021. I've come to return all the glory unto God. My name is Sylvester Okoro, and I serve in ushering units. I've come to return all the glory unto God. Uh, two months of severe headache terminated via Prishilo encounter service. I've been praying to God over this headache. Um, I, even at the covenant hour of prayer, I gave a testimony of faith concerning this all to no avail. I've been praying all to no avail. But the first Prishilo encounter service, Bishop said we should pray for one thing, and I pray for this all to no avail. I came last Sunday. I came last Sunday, and uh, Bishop came, and he said that we should not pray for what we have prayed before. We should pray for another different thing. And I believe that that headache has gone already. So I prayed for another thing. Waking up on Monday, I discovered that there is no more headache on me. On Celebrate Monday. Jesus. And, God, and his headache God, has been restored. Give Jesus a big hand this morning. Please listen to this documented testimony. International job via Prishilo Encounter Service. I have been believing God for an international job for which I sat for the examination last month. Last Sunday, during the Prishilo Encounter Service, the bishop said, if you do what I do, you will see what I see. And I held on to that word. I also sowed a seed into the life of a sister. The following day, I received a call to come for the job. Not just that, I was given an accommodation and a flight ticket. I returned to give God the glory. The testifier is Sylvester Adamu, who is the doer of all this. Give him all the glory by giving him a shout of praise. Shiloh 2021, more than a conqueror. Shortly be all standing as a modern conqueror to pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the heat free transmission from Kenala to all our film centers around the world in all Shiloh event T date. Psalm 147, verse 15, he sent forth his, word, his commandment upon the head, his word running very swiftly. Can we please be upstanding? Can we lift up our voice in the name of your Father, in the name of Jesus? Thank you for the heat free transmission from Kenala to all our field centers around the world in all Shiloh events today. It has been you. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is worthy of our praise. We are returned to say thank you. Thank you. Are you thanking him? Let him hear you. Celebrate him. Thank him. Return all the glory to him. He has been the one behind the glory. He has been the one orchestrating the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the heat free transmission from Kenala to all our free centers around the world in all Shiloh events today we give you all the glory Father in the name of Jesus thank you for the heat free transmission from Kenala to all our free centers around the world Shiloh began Today, we give you all the glory. Thank you. We celebrate you. We appreciate you. We give you honor. Thank you. You are the doer. You are the one behind the glory of his free transmission from Kenalam to all of his centers around the world 
you know, Shiloh event today. He that be you, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. We celebrate you, Father, He, the name of Jesus. Let Him hear you, thank Him, celebrate Him, give Him praise. Give him praise. Thank you for his free transmission from Kenalam to all the field center. Around the world, in all Shiloh event today, Rekoti Sherenara Waki Sheke. Pray, appreciate him. Thank him. In the Holy Ghost. He that thank God. In the Holy Ghost, thank God way. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name, we are giving to us. Give Jesus a big, big hand, please, please. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. In a moment, we shall be rising up to take this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, send your rescue angels to smite the, and destroy every perpetrator of evil, troubling the peace of the church in Nigeria. For all the enemies of the church in Nigeria, Psalm 35 verse 5 says, Let them be as a chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Please rise to your feet and let's bring this prayer before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, send your rescue angels to smite and destroy every perpetrator of evil troubling the peace of the church in Nigeria. Lift up your voice. Let heaven hear you this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, send your rescue angels, send your rescue angels to smite and destroy every perpetrator of evil, troubling the peace of the church in Nigeria. Are you praying this morning? Call upon him. He answers prayers. Lift up your voice. Cry to the Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, send your rescue angels to smite and destroy every perpetrator of evil, troubling the peace of the church in Nigeria. The angels of the Lord excel in strength. Let's ask the Lord to send them to smite and destroy the perpetrators of evil in Nigeria. Lift up your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, send your rescue angels to smite and destroy every perpetrator of evil, troubling the peace of the church in Nigeria. Call on him. Let heaven hear you. Father, in the name of Jesus, send your rescue angels to smite and destroy every perpetrator of evil, troubling the peace of the church in Nigeria. Lift up your hands. Wave those hands. Return all the glory to God. He has answered us this morning. All the glory goes to you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, put your hands together for the Lord and be seated. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. It's my privilege this morning to read to us an epistle from God's servant, the apostle over this commission on the subject prophetic focus for November 2021. Turn around greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe God has ushered us into a new realm of revelation on the wonders embedded in the world all through the month of October. And may we all receive grace to walk in the light of the revelation that the Holy Ghost has revealed to us in the name of Jesus Christ. What then is the Holy Ghost saying for the month of November 2021? Praise is one of the hidden places of his power for our supernatural change of story. We must recognize that thanksgiving and praise is one of the most neglected weapons of war, yet one of the most powerful of all spiritual weapons at our disposal. Praise, among others, 
secures divine presence, provokes divine intervention, engenders divine health, empowers access to fresh oil, facilitates access to revelation, empowers our access to divine guidance, empowers our access to realms of signs and wonders, praise warfare, facilitate fulfillment of prophecies, and many more. The revelation of the truth we celebrate is the one we can manifest. God's word is the incorruptible seed that is indestructible seed. But when we receive the word in our hearts, the seed is sown and must be watered to grow and bring forth fruits. In the same vein, every prophetic word requires praise for full delivery. The more praiseful we are, the more fruitful we become. Praise is therefore a vital weapon to engage for continuous breakthrough in all areas of our lives. Fearful praise will always trigger the fearful acts of God. Therefore, the prophetic focus for the month of November 2021 is God works wonders through praise. The recommended books of the month authored by God's servant Bishop David Redekbo include Understanding the Power of Praise, Wonders of Praise. All these titles are also available on www.domionlinestore.org, Amazon Store and Apple Online Store. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord. Bishop David O. Oyedepo. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. At this moment, we as a congregation are happy and glad to see and acknowledge those worshipping with us for the first time at Living Faith Church Goshen. If this is your first time here, please rise to your feet and remain standing. Please rise to your feet and remain standing. First time worship at Living Faith Church Goshen, please rise to your feet. Congregation, please put your hands together to welcome them in a rowdy reception. Hallelujah. On behalf of God and the leadership of this church, we welcome you to Living Faith Church Goshen. You can see how we are so happy and delighted to have you by the way we have welcomed you. This is Living Faith Church Goshen, the home of signs and wonders and the home of supernatural turn around. Of course, this same welcome is extended to those who are worshiping with us for the first time on all our online platforms. Where you are standing, you have been given a package. In that package, you see materials there that will edify your life. You see them there. By the time you get home, when you read them, you too, gradually, your life from today has turned to become winners like us in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, in that package, you will see a small form for you to fill. Your name, your address, and if you have email, just put it there. But above all, at the lower part of the form, you will see a portion for your prayer requests. Ensure that you fill in your prayer requests. Because after you have gone within the week, God's servant and the team of pastors will be praying on those requests and they will be turned to supernatural testimonies in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The same way for those on the online platform, we have linkage there for you to click on to download the materials that we edify you. Make sure you download them and read through them. You too, from today, you have become winners in the name of Jesus. You also have a link to also fill in your prayer requests and God's servant as we have said before we pray on them and you too being online worshiper we also receive your testimonies in the mighty name of jesus now once it's not enough you keep coming and keep coming so that you too can share the kind of testimonies that were shared today one person give multiple of testimonies today your own too will be more than that as long as you remain here and be worshiping here at living faith church goshen here when we pray god answers this morning, bow down your head, put your right hand on your chest, and the congregation is going to pray for you. Even the online worshiper, please, wherever you are, stand to your feet, put your right hand on your chest. Congregation, please, 
lift up your hands towards these ones and begin to release blessings of, of God upon them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for bringing these ones into your presence. We are happy to have them. Lord, grant them testimonies that will make them remain permanently in faith and permanently here in Goshen. Thank you, King of Glory. Transform their lives. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please take your seat, enjoy the, your, the service, ensure that after you have filled those forms, just lift it up to any of our officials and they will pick them up from you. God bless you. Hallelujah. It's time to begin to package all our offerings and tie it together, both we that are here and those worshiping with us online. Let's have this thought in mind as we give our tithe and offering. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 7 and 8. There's an attitude that will make your seed to be prosperous and there's a reward for giving the seed. Every man, according as he has purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity for God loveth a cheerful giver. I'm sure there's a cheerful giver in the house. And look at the reward if it is properly sown. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you, I say you, always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. That is you. So if you are writing check, write living faith, church, go check. If you are giving online, check the board. The directions are there. By all means, make sure you give with an attitude of cheerfulness. Your countenance must not be sad. It must be acceptable to God before your seed is acceptable to him. I'm sure somebody is ready to give his tithe and offering. Shall we stand on our feet, lift it up before the Lord? Lift that seed, that tithe before the Lord, including all our online worshippers. The Lord is seeing you where you are and is going to receive your seed also. Father, thank you for all this seed. We worship you for the grace to give it. In the name of Jesus. Father, they are presenting their tithe and offering to you. Lord, accept it in Jesus' name. And let the grace for sufficiency and abundance be made available to every giver today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. In Jesus' name. Shout a thankful amen. Please be seated. The choir minister, the offerings are collected.
sin has no power over us. We are the righteousness of God. And fear has no power. We have the spirit in us. Oh, we reign. To the Lord this morning. Amen. Lift up your hand, express your love to the Lord this morning for bringing you into His presence. Thank Him from the depth of your heart. Do so loudly. Make it an open declaration. I love you, my Father. I thank you, my Father. I glorify you for bringing me into your presence again this morning. Oh yes, somebody praise him, somebody lift him on high, celebrate him from the depth of your heart, give him the glory due to him, give him the glory due to him, give him the praise. We are in the midst of praise. God is working wonders here this morning. Give him the glory, give him the praise, exalt his name. If you can, wave your hand unto him. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. We give you glory. We give you praise. We adore you, Lord. We lift you on high. Thank you and thank you in 
the name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, when I'm lifted, I will draw men unto me. For your lifting of God this morning, I see you drawn from the ground to the top. For praising him this morning, he will raise you from the dust to glory. In the name of Jesus. If you are grateful that God brought you again this morning, give him another big hand. It's worthy of our prayer. Amen. We just concluded our three days of prayer and fasting. And every time we do so, he said, our light will break forth out of obscurity. Therefore, as a result of this week of spiritual emphasis, the three days of prayer and fasting, I decree that your light will break forth. There shall be no more obscurity around you. From today, you are stepping into limelight. After Jesus fasted, he returned in the power of the Spirit and his fame spread it abroad. I decree that your fame spread beyond where you are right now. Everyone operating local before I see you climbing up to the realm of global operation. Be blessed of the Lord and be refreshed forever. Before you take your seat, ask God to send you his word again this morning. Father, I need your word this morning. Your word will change my world. Let your word change my world this morning. Let your word transform me this morning. Let your word change my status this morning. I receive the engrafted word of the Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' wonderful name we are praying. Heavenly Father, thanking you for bringing us into your presence this morning. All of this, your wonderful and great people are saying to you, thank you with full assurance and expectation that your word is coming to us again as light with full impartation in the precious name of Jesus. And all who are expecting God's touch this morning at this Priscilla encounter service, say a very loud amen. Please get seated. I can see you clapping for the Lord. I know you will do it better. I know you will shout to, along with it. Welcome to Shiloh 2021. I mean, welcome to 2021. Your year of supernatural turn around. I'm sure you can see that Shiloh is already boiling. Give God another big hand. That's what you're about to do. This new month will bring you new joy. This new month will bring to you new fulfillment. It will bring your way new open doors. It will bring your way new testimonies. This new month will change your levels. In this new month, you will rejoice. In this new month, you will have testimonies beyond imagination. In this new month, all your mockers will go into hiding. In this new month, all who are looking for you on the floor will raise their head to find you at the top. All who are waiting for you to beg will be receiving from you. All who are waiting for you in the hospital again will discover that you are no longer a candidate of sickness. The God of this commission bless you change your levels move you forward by the close of this month just before Shiloh 2021 you'll be carrying full emblem of that prophetic event in Jesus name the prophetic focus for this month as we have received this is God works wonders through praise praise is a channel is pathway to wonders wonders is our destination praise is a passage if you have difficulty 
pass it through the channel of praise and it will come out as wonder at the end of the day. Praise is the catalyst that turns hard situations into miracles. The scripture for the theme of the month is Psalm 92, verses 1 to 2, and verses 8 to 15. And our teaching series every Sunday is titled, Understanding the Wonders of Thanksgiving. As we have called it, may God give you and I understanding. I thought you said it louder, you meant to that. Because praise and thanksgiving must be done with understanding. Depth of understanding determines level of result. Depth of understanding always determines level of result. Twenty students are in one class. Other one or a number of lecturers doing the same exams reading the same recommended books but coming out with different results the line in between is understanding understanding if you understand deeper you will do better again I pray that God will give you an eye deep understanding we live in a world that operates in mysteries what is mystery mystery is hidden fact hidden truth something that others cannot understand except the one to whom it is revealed Kingdom secrets is what bring, makes kingdom stars. If you know the secret, you become the star. People follow those who have discovered the secret. That's why people come to you when you are successful. They ask you, please tell us the secret. Please tell us the secret. Beginning from this season, People will come to beg you to tell them your secret. David became a star by reason of secrets. Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is revealed to them that fear Him. When you walk in the fear of God, you become a custodian of God's secret. And he will show them his covenant. Not everybody can know it. But God will show it to them. So behind the mysteries of this kingdom is God. Job is another example. In Job chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, there was a man in the land of whose? A man that feared the Lord. And let's chew it evil. Verse 2. And there were born, there were born to him seven sons and three daughters. And verse 3. His substance was 7,000 and all of the great blessings that he had there. But one day Job was interviewed. What is your secret? And in chapter 29 verse 4. Job said. As I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. So, Job the star was secret made. The secret of God will always lead to stardom among men. It's not education, education is good. But your rising in this kingdom 
is not education based it is secret based mystery based if you make it by education it is common well, we are not the only one who makes it by education but if you make it by the secret of God you become a great attraction you become second to none one that cannot be competed with and that's why when you are born again among others you have an edge over others according to mark chapter 4 verse 11 to those who are without they don't know what it is but unto you is given the mystery unto the of the kingdom of god but unto them that are outside all these things are done in parables now praise is one of such secrets is the hiding place of god's power what do we mean you want to enter into a city with fenced walls no weapon in your hand no expertise raw people and god told them go around the walls of jericho seven times or seven days and on the seventh day you will go around this seven times uh -uh. where did you learn that technology from to the extent that the people of jericho were just watching them they never imagined that anything can happen and on the seventh day they blew their trumpet and the walls and all who were on top of it went down that's why we call it a mystery it's a mystery because it is not passing through the intelligence of man how do you explain three nations came against you in the days of Jehoshaphat you find the first story in Joshua chapter 1 I mean chapter 6 in second Chronicles three nations big nation came against Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah to the extent that Jehoshaphat became afraid what shall we do and God told him get singers get singers let them begin to sing get singers and they began to sing without weapons in their hands and suddenly the three nations came against themselves destroyed themselves not one arrow was shot by Jehoshaphat it's a mystery it's a mystery Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 3 to 4 talks about the hiding place of the power of God God came from Teman the Holy One from Mount Paran his glory covered the heavens and the heart was full of his praise full of his praise full of his praise and as a result his brightness was as a light and had ons coming out of his hand every time we are praising God fire is coming out of his hand every time we are praising him and there in his hand was a hiding place of his power the praise of our mouth moves the hand of God to walk in our favor and as a result the same chapter verses 17 to 19 although the fig tree does not blossom and there be, be no fruit in the vine the labor of olive shall fail the feet shall yield and no meat the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no heart in the store yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will join the God of my salvation and as I do so he will become my strength he will stretch for his hand in my favor and he will make my feet like hands feet and make me to walk upon my high places so praise is a mystery say loud amen, amen. now there is also what the Bible recognizes says as sacrifice of Thanksgiving which turns out to be an altar of supernatural turnaround Psalm 116 verse 17 sacrifice of thanksgiving I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and I will call upon the name of the Lord sacrifice of thanksgiving still so may sacrifice now there is regular thanksgiving and there is sacrificial thanksgiving why do we call it sacrifice sacrifice is something 
that you do which is not convenient doing or giving what is inconvenient yet with joy and excitement not minding what you are going through some people ask don't you have a problem look at the way you are dancing you know the reason why they are dancing that way they don't have any problem the reason I can't dance is because I have a problem <laughs> if you think of your problem you never come out of your problem you have to dance your way out of your problem say loud amen yeah. one thing that the devil cannot survive is the atmosphere of thanksgiving and one thing God cannot survive is the atmosphere of murmuring and complaining murmur complain Satan will come sing and dance God will come so sacrifice of thanksgiving means thanking God when it is not convenient thanking God in the face of obvious negative situations obvious negative circumstances for instance a woman this testimony was shared in our church in Lagos when we were in Red Yoba got back home and there was no food to eat for her and for the children and the woman took a bowl of water and put it in the center of the room and asked the children to dance and they were dancing dancing around the bowl of water thanking God thanking God and they all drank and went to sleep by daybreak somebody brought in food stuff including chicken for them to eat that is what we call sacrifice or praise thanking God when it is not convenient by reason of the obvious situation now we've had testimonies of people who got their sack letter termination of their job they put it on the floor and started dancing around it thanking God my promotion letter has come my promotion letter letter has come waking up the following morning in the place of being sacked was not only recalled but promoted somebody's story is changing here right now don't wait for your story to change before you thank God thank God in the midst of that horrible situation that's the only way to change it we saw Jesus demonstrated this practically 5,000 people were before him to be fed and John chapter 6 verses 6 to 11 he himself knew what to do he knew that thanksgiving is the key and he took the five loaves of bread verse 11 he took the loaves when he had given thanks for the five loaves what was insufficient became more than enough to be distributed became more than enough to be distributed they ate they were filled there were fragments they gathered them together 12 basket in excess thanksgiving will always give you excess excess on a practical note some of you are living in one room right now get back home today dance around the room father i thank you father i thank you from there it will become three bedroom flat and grow into mansion that's how we came up that's how we came up i started pastoring the church in a three bedroom sitting apartment the parlor was church the inner room was my bedroom the other room for guests the next room my office dancing and dancing one day i got excited on saturday i asked for red oxide paint that they used to paint iron elements and all of that and painted the floor sunday morning i told the people in church aren't you glad you have come to a red carpeted church today 
that's why the scripture says in everything give thanks don't tell me you are going through any situation you are not the first person to pass through it and in any case if you are truly going through it you will have finished going through it you are not going through you are standing there you are standing there you have a jalopika give thanks to god for it let the high praise of god be in that jalopi so that it can be upgraded to a better one for you that's how we all grew to where we are today my jalopika it's so interesting that many of you didn't know it that's on 180k about six different people have used it before it became my turn when it became my turn the car knew that i was riding it i was riding it it was riding me <laughs> it was serving me and disappointing me but when that was car that was real car brand new car that's how i described it thanking god is key to changing your level particularly sacrifice of thanksgiving don't mind your mockers they will soon change their minds also in john chapter 11 verses 41 to 43 they told jesus lazarus was dead close case and jesus said well first of all let's give thanks to god the number one thing you should always do is to thank god they told you somebody have accident father we thank you number one thing to do is to thank god jesus said let's give thanks to god it's only lazarus that died mary and martha are still alive if you lose 10 people in your family in one day what will you do you lost only one in the word of god god is the reason why you didn't lose everything so give quality thanks to god for what remains give quality thanks to god for what remains as jesus gave thanks he knew what to do he called for lazarus and he appeared whatever you give thanks to god for today will be the least you will ever see we also saw the sacrifice of praise is a covenant story changer as in the case of abraham how can somebody be going to sacrifice his only son that he waited for for 25 years and he took it he took him for worship he rose up early in the morning verse 5 and he told the young men that were with him stay here with the house i and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you he was going to slaughter his son and call it worship he called it worship In Romans chapter 4, verses 20 to 21, he said, God, not that the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. They were mocking him, he was giving glory to God. They were laughing at him, he was giving glory to God. All your mockers were going to hide him. If you can raise your hand and shout, I thank God. Push the devil away from you. Say, I give glory to God. Not minding how you came out to this place this morning. Raise your hand and say, I praise God. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Puts the combination of praise and thanksgiving together. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. How frequently? continually make it your lifestyle that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name say with me again thank you jesus thank when the lord turned again the captivity of zion were then like saying and in verse 6 they who sow in tears shall reap with joy even in your pain, when you are crying, be singing. When you are crying, be singing. When you are crying, be singing. You are not the first person to cry. When you are crying, be singing. In the process, you will reap with joy. 
We saw how David, the king, did not lost any battle. Thanksgiving and praise was his secret. He was ever winning, ever triumphant. Let us follow his example. According to Jeremiah chapter 6, verses 16 to 17. David is a clear example of triumph through praise. Stand ye in the ways, see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein. Walk in the path of David. To be very specific. And you shall find rest to your souls. Walk in that path. Instead of adopting modern system, do not remove the old landmark. Tested and proven methods. Divine methods. Instead of looking for new methods. All the things which are written are written for our example. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. Follow the example and you will score the next mark. Follow the example to score your next mark. Those who follow examples don't lose. They always win. They always score. Now, somebody is saying, well, but David is too far from me. Look at us. Look at us. Look at the way we smile every day. That's why we tell you that if you do what we do, you will see what we see. You can't be smiling the way I'm smiling and suffer depression. No. I smile my way out of troubles. I laugh my way out of crisis. I praise my way out of depression. Follow us. Take your step after our steps. Ever rejoicing, ever shouting, ever praising God. The results are here. You will soon be the next testifier. I thought I'm talking about someone here. Hear what David said, Psalm 34 verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. What will be in your mouth? Murmuring? Complaining? I know you know it now. You know what you did last night? You know what we did this morning even before you came to church? The complaints? But you can change your mind this morning. At all times. Oh, bless the Lord. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. May the unction for praise rest upon you today. Yeah. For it's a good thing to give thanks on the Lord and sing praise on your name most high. Psalm 92 verse 1 and 2. To talk of your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness at night. That should be what you've been doing all of the time. In the process, fresh oil on your head and victory and triumph. Fresh oil on your head. Now, quickly. But what is thanksgiving? We'll look at three things right now. What is thanksgiving? Number one, thanksgiving simply means acknowledging of God as one behind every good thing in our lives. Acknowledging of God. John 3, 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing, nothing, except it be given him from heaven. Whatever you have on earth here was delivered to you from heaven. That's why nobody could stop it. The beauty you have came from heaven. Your handsomeness came from heaven. The car you are riding, the degree you have, God gave you brain for it. If you have something, and you don't acknowledge it, it will become nothing. It will be reduced to nothing. The reason why the blessing of many people don't stay with them is because they don't acknowledge. Now, when you get a courier message behind the envelope, it's a place for you to acknowledge. They tell you, acknowledge received. Where there is no one to acknowledge the receipt, the courier man takes it back. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. 
because they must necessarily return with someone who signed acknowledgement. So they tell you acknowledge receipt. Thanksgiving is acknowledgement of the receipt of God's blessing upon your life. Where there is no acknowledgement, he will withdraw it from you. He will withdraw it from you. That's why if you don't thank God for the one room you have, he sends you to under the bridge. Maybe you prefer that. He will send you back there. You don't acknowledge God for 1,000 naira he gave to you. He will reverse you back to 100 naira. Wherever there is no acknowledgement, there will be withdrawal of the gift and the blessing. If I were you, I would shout again, thank you, Jesus. James chapter 1 verse 17. All good gifts, all perfect gifts is from above, from above, from above. So let above hear your voice. Let above take your acknowledgement. Jesus speaking, John 14 10 said in the later part of it, but the Father that dwelleth in me is the one doing the works. He is the one doing the works. Jesus openly acknowledged God. That's why God never ceased to work in his life. Open acknowledgement. I want to recommend this for you, please. Open acknowledgement. That's why you should be sharing your testimony. Don't cover what God is doing in your life. Open acknowledgement. Open acknowledgement. From today, make it your tradition. Open acknowledgement. Share your testimony at least with one, two, three persons of what God is doing in your life. Philippians 2, 13, it is God at work in you both to win and to do of his good pleasure. Things are working for us because God is working in us. Things are working around us because God is working within us. If he goes on break, everything will break down. May God not go on break in your life. <laughs> Number two, what is thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is ascribing all the glory to God for who you are and for where you are. Who you are and where you are. Ascribing the glory to him. Stop making reference to your credentials. Stop making reference to your eloquence. If you're a pastor, stop making reference to the handbills and the billboard of your church. Business people, stop making reference to your letter-headed paper and business card and business presentation. Stop kissing your hand. Man, I just thank God for this brain. Something is here. Amen. <laughs> Ascribe the glory. When people say, oh, things are working, immediately be answering them, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. The, thank God for the miracles today. Thank God. Thank God. We just thank God for the way God is using you. Thank God. Thank God. You should be ascribing all the glory to God. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. 1 Corinthians 15, 10. Jeremiah chapter 13. 15 to 17. Hear ye and give hear. Be not proud, whether silent or loud. For the Lord has spoken. What did he say? Give glory to the Lord. It's a command, your God. Before he caused darkness. Man, if you don't acknowledge God, he will make darkness overtake you. That's what it means. And before your feet stumble upon the dark. Yesterday you knew how to do it. If you don't give glory to God, tomorrow you won't know how to do it again. It just becomes so stupid. You'll be make, missing your steps. You'll be stumbling. You'll be doing as if you never knew anything before. Where they love you before, you'll go there and be making mistakes. Where they gave you open business and open door in business before, they'll shut the door. They say, we don't want you again. Carry your car and go. Why? You are not ascribing the glory to God. Get back to that passage. Why did he look for light? He turned it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. 
But if you will not hear, I'm already weeping for you in secret. My eyes shall weep so and run down with tears because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. May the goodness of God around your life not be turned sour. How? Keep giving glory to God. That's why it's our tradition in this ministry. Our tradition in this ministry. We give glory to God for everything. For everything. For everything. You can pray, but you cannot answer the prayer. You can preach, but you cannot prick the heart of people. You can receive the word, but you cannot deliver the word without he opening the hearts of people. Number three, what is thanksgiving? It is the recounting of God's goodness and loving kindness in our lives. Now, this is very, very important. Don't just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For what? Count your blessing. Name them one by one. Count it. Those who recount the act of God are counted worthy for the next act of God. Those who recount the act of God are counted worthy for the next act of God. Isaiah 63, verse 7. I will mention, I will recount the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us and the great goodness. Can you see the adjective? Qualifying the things of God, magnifying God, blowing it, blowing it very big towards the house of Israel, which He had bestowed on them according to His mercy. They didn't qualify for it according to the multitude of His loving kindness. Will you get back home and lie down on the floor and say, Who am I that God should give me a flat to live in? Will you enter your car and start shedding tears of joy? Who am I to have a car? We take too many things for granted. Too many things for granted. You need to get back home and thank God for giving you sound health. You need to be in the hospital for one day. You will know the meaning of sickness. You need to thank God. That your children are doing well. They are not causing you crisis. That your child is not a drug addict that they are looking for under the bridge. With shame. Keep recounting. Keep counting and recounting. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, David said. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Forget not all of his benefits. You see, most people who murmur, simply put, are having short memory short memory they are they are not deep you can't be complaining when you recall all the great acts of god in your life no psalm 103 1 to 5 verse 3 who has forgiven you your iniquities you know how deadly sickness wanted to destroy you how that you are a drug addict how that you are given to drunkenness how that you are given to adultery living meaningless life he brought you out he healed all your diseases he redeemed your life from destruction how that you will have died around Jikwe how you will have died around Yaya how you will have died in a plane crash how that you fell in the farm nobody was there to rescue you and here you are smiling today he crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfied your mouth with good things. Here you are, you can handle fork and knife on your table. Eating orishi rishi. Turkey, chicken, fish. You are picking what you like on your table. Habba. May the next complaint never come close to your mouth. Psalm 105, verses 1 to 5. This are the secrets of David. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known. Make known. Make known. Make known. Make known. Recall his deeds among the people. 
and turn it into singing. Sing psalms unto him. Talk he, talk he, talk he, talk he. Be a talker of his wondrous word. Be telling people that's many glory in his name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember. How do you remember? By sitting down and thinking backward, recalling the acts of God. Remember, recall, recount. Remember his marvelous works that he had done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. Say loud, amen. Perhaps I will have been a dead man from childhood. I remember going to farm, looking for cricket in their holes. I was the smallest of the young people that were there. And they say, put your finger there. Your finger is very small. And I put my finger there and a snake came out. Maybe you would not have known me. Ask me why I'm rolling on the floor. Ask me why I'm jumping and leaping. Non-entity. By the hand of God. Turn to celebrity. Recount. 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 Some of us, why was I crying on my bad day? I was not moved by the emotion of people around. But I, I remembered where I started from. I remembered. I was full of thoughts. I saw I was not worthy for such a crowd people to be gathered to say they are celebrating with me. Keep recounting. David went to his house and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I? What is my father's house that you should think of these great things in my life? Habba. You're going in and going out. Witches cannot touch you. And you think, hey, you know, I'm very powerful. If God leaves you one second, you are gone. Recount. Recall. Recount. Recall. That is what Thanksgiving is. What will Thanksgiving offer you? Every genuine Thanksgiving usually graduates into praise. Psalm 69, verses 30 and 31. Psalm 92, verses 1 and 2. It's a good thing to give thanks on the Lord and sing praises. So when you are thanking God, it grows into praises. It grows into praises. And when Thanksgiving graduates into praise, the stage is set for wonders. Look at that. Thanking God, praising God, stepping into wonders. Stepping into wonders. And wonders without number. Exodus 15, 11. Job 9, 10. Great wonders beyond description, which do it great things past finding out that is mystery. You can't locate it, you can't tell where this man is getting blessed from. And wonders without number, you don't look like it yet, they cannot deny that you are the one. Say loud, amen. <laughs> you know, there are people who don't like your face, yet they can't deny your effect. They say, Who is he? Who is he? <laughs> who is he? And he is growing. Who is he? And he's the one taking over everywhere. Who is he? Who does he think he is? And as you come, they say, you are welcome, sir. You are welcome, sir. After you are gone, they say, who is he? Who is he? They hear you are coming. You are welcome, sir. Why? Because they will get something from you. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? It's become, this is him. This is him. This is him. Wonders without measure. Say loud, amen. So, praise offers wonders. Number two. When praise graduates to high praise, you can see the category thanksgiving to praise and from praise to high praise. Now, listen to this. When somebody smokes wee wee or take cocaine, what do they say? High. It's high. It takes gin with 404. They say the guy is high. And you see him moving, you know he's really high. <laughs> he has left your realm. He's seen something else. And that's what happens when we are in high praise. You forget about people around you. 
you you'll be dancing and moving like a madman like a crazy man Amen. why you are already high high when you get to that realm god takes over your battle because you are mad for god it becomes mad against your enemies And that's what you call drunkenness, spiritual drunkenness. You get drunk and praising God. They'll be wondering. We thought that this man said he's a bishop. Do bishops dance like this? Uh, bishops are to be moving with extra caution. They carry a rod before him. We thought they said David is a king. We thought they said he's a king. He, was, he forgot protocols. He died the king that was supposed to be going with protocol. He broke the protocol. He cleared him. Come on, clear off. Clear off. And started dancing high. He was drunk in praise. He was drunk in praise. And God was drunk against his enemies. He was well dressed. But when the thing came on him, he didn't know when the upper dress removed. To the extent that his wife said, why did the king become so useless before the maid? Ah, uh, David said you don't know anything. You have not seen madness before. He said in that passage. He said, I will show to you that I am more vile. I will not be like your father. Your father was following protocol. They removed him from being king. I will not follow that limb. I will not follow that path. Look, you are too decent. You look too decent. They say, praise God. You are just standing like a wood. Permit me if I look like I'm offending you this morning. If you are not praising God, you are useless. Useless. Because God said, these people have I created for myself. And they shall be for my praise. Your usefulness to God is in your entertaining him. Entertaining him. Praising God is entertaining God. David said, it is before God that I'm dancing. I'm entertaining him. I'm entertaining him. I am praising his name. Well, over to you this morning. You will live here with luggage of his blessing. God will take over your prey, your, your, your fight this morning. Psalm 149 verses 6 to 9. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth. And the two are just one in their mouth. Eh? For what purpose? So that God can execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment on the people. As you praise God today madly, God will be mad at your enemies. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 20, we saw how that they began to praise God in verse 20. And God took over for them. This morning, God is taking over for you. Give a shout to the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Only those who do the unusual will see the unusual. Don't live a regular life. I don't care who you are. You can't be as big as David the king. David was king of the world. You know, I'm CEO. I can't be dancing the way they are dancing. What CEO? Yeah, yeah, CEO. Yeah. What CEO? Is not God who made you CEO? Where were you before? Where was your family before? Where was your root before? God raised you up. And you are now doing like somebody important. You are doing like in the bush. You want to go for sabbatical in the bush? That will not be your portion. So when I say dance, it's not me who said so. It's God who said so. Let them praise him in the dance. Do you believe in the Bible in your hand? Is it God's word to you? Psalm 149 verse 3. He said, let them praise him in the dance. In the dance. Not just in a dance. In the dance. What kind of dance? The kind of dance that David danced. Dance with his might. Praise God. It's a new day for you. Give God another big hand. Now, quickly. You are here this morning. You have not given your life to Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Please don't allow your life to go down the drain 
Without Jesus, there is no hope, no future. Without Christ, crisis will continue. Without Jesus, Satan will keep messing up your destiny. Run to Jesus, run for your life. Run to safety, run to protection. Jesus is key. Whatever you are seated this morning, you discover your emptiness. You discover that sin is destroying your life and you want to be free. Something is telling you to be free this morning. Stand to your feet. I'd like to pray together. I want to be born again. I want to surrender my life to God. I know you will. I know God is talking to you. Don't wait. Don't be an hypocrite. Don't pretend. You need God. Someone is here this morning. Somehow, you backslidden. You didn't like it, but it happened. You want to return back to Jesus, whether you're on the ground floor, on the gallery. Everyone who wants to make it right with God, will you start coming to the altar here right now? Come to the altar, quickly. God bless you for your sincerity. God bless you. You will never regret this decision you are making this morning. Keep clapping for them, church. If you came with anything to church, carry it along, your Bible, your bag, your cap. Man, don't stop that man from running. If you are running, run down here quickly. God bless you. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. A change is taking place in your life. Your confusion is giving way right now. Oppression is giving way. Salvation is here for you this morning. Church, please keep honoring Jesus with your club. If you are seated there, you know you should be here. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come on. Jesus is waiting for you. Come on. Now, there are individuals out there, you are arguing in your mind. You are arguing in your mind. Don't argue with God. Don't argue with God. He knows you more than you think he does. You too, you know you need God. You just know it. Why the argument? Why the delay? Don't delay further. Come to Jesus right now. You are still seated by the authority in the name of Jesus. I command the devil to lose his hold from you right now. Come on right now. You want to give your life to Jesus? You want to follow him? Now, as we expect the others to come, every one of you here, look at me this way. Lift up your right hand. All of you in front here, lift up your right hand, please. And bow your head in prayer. Say with me, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Save me. Give me new life. Make me your child. From now, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. My sins are forgiven. My name is written down in the book of life. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Now I declare you saved by the power of the Lord. Your sins are hereby forgiven in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. Are you happy you pray this prayer? Open your eyes, please. From the middle to my right, you go that way, and all the others, you go this way. Give Jesus a big hand, everybody. Worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Now, for those of us who are just coming to church in a long while, what we are doing every Sunday up till Shiloh is to have one request written down before the Lord, one per Sunday. And I'm sure you are written, you are written yours right now. One person with one request, one request. We've had that the last two Sundays and every week people return with their testimony. Including people watching us online. We have got a testimony from, you know, Canada. Somebody who has been looking for a job for six months got a job of six dollar digits. New doors opening. Somebody's miracle is here this week. So get your list ready in case you have not done that. Meanwhile, in case you gave your life to Jesus, watching us live from any part of the world, follow the instruction on the screen. Just send us a message, yes, and then we'll reach you after the service. Look at that on the screen. You gave your life to Jesus. We are concerned for you. We want to see you fully established in the faith.
send us message through any of the telephone lines you have there also if you have testimonies that you don't have time to come here to share you can take note of the address out there testimony goshen at gmail or put it on whatsapp with that telephone number please keep it up out there for a few seconds so people can have access to it thank you jesus shiloh 2021 and you are more than conqueror come shiloh 2021 that emblem will be fully placed on your head i thought you were saying amen to that i want to specially again this morning commend all of you who have become providers for wsf location by the grace of god more than 1900 new cells have been planted this year in this church the lord will honor every one of you those who have done it before and those who have just done it for opening your home to jesus may the blessing of god overflow your house and all the cell operators all the mobilizers all the organizers the lord will visit you as well in jesus name i also want this morning on the behalf of our leadership commend every one of you who are using the buses provided by the church report reaching us indicates that everyone has been working orderly and moving decently which of course we are not surprised about because an average winner is an orderly person some of you are using those buses today that is provided by the church very soon you'll be riding your car you will not only ride your car you will buy buses for others to be using all of our the operators our bus operators in their various local places district region and those who are coordinating from goshen here we acknowledge your input your patience and everything you are doing the lord will honor you in the name of jesus and all of you who are giving every time towards the transportation you will not suffer immobility in your life again everything will be moving forward by the power of god in your life in jesus name amen i'm sure you are ready to praise god right now stand to your feet please there will be a provincial training program in all of our provinces all who are concerned please make sure you are there on saturday get the books of the month get the teachings also in cds and be blessed in jesus name in the first service we have quite a lot of testimonies and in this second service many more are following sickness must leave you disease must leave you affliction must leave you paralyzed hands will start moving this morning short or long sightedness will be reversed this morning everyone that came in with one affliction or the other you will not leave this place with them in the name of jesus as we pray this prayer before we jump into praising god if you are coming for the first time into this church please allow us to be a part of your life by praying for you all first time worshipers please find your way at the altar here come on here quickly all first time worshipers move from where you are carry whatever you come to church with including your children and come to the altar here right now all first time worshipers as they are coming everybody lift up your request before the lord your one line request before the lord and begin to declare your blessing right now declare your expectation right now now is it healing is it financial favor is it open doors is it new job just one just one <laughs> god is honoring you i want you to thank god consciously praise god consciously for him are you doing that right now don't mind who's next to you don't mind who's passing by you raise your hand raise your voice raise that list before the lord and begin to declare the blessing of god begin to thank god for answering you this morning thank him from the depth of your heart for answering you this morning father i thank you father i glorify your name choir please get ready as we sing our song celebrating jubilating glorifying god thank you mighty father blessed be your name blessed be your name blessed be your name blessed be your name in jesus wonderful name we are praying father we thank you lift up your hand for recounting the blessing of god upon your life you become counted as a next candidate for another blessing 
and for this reason therefore I declare whatever is your one request before the Lord today be fully met before this week runs out man your amen is already showing that you have the answer already I can see faith in your amen I can see faith in your amen I can see faith in your amen receive your answers now let every testifier shout the loudest amen all of our friends brothers and sisters at the altar this morning we are so delighted to have you come to worship with us today i'm sure you have no regret coming this morning you are excited you are blessed and the blessing will remain i want to urge you don't make this your last comment to this place come again join us on wednesday join us next sunday because you will share your testimony here i thought you were saying amen, amen. you will share your testimony so come with your friends tell them to come and listen to your testimony when you are coming next Sunday we love you we thank God for you you're joining back to wherever you're coming from safe and blessed in Jesus name Amen. please allow our church officials to talk to you briefly from the middle to my right and on the other side God bless you we are welcome church clap your hands as they go <laughs> choir we are singing right now the next few minutes we are jumping we are leaping hold your Request in your hand, celebrating the answer. Start waving the answer. Start waving the answer. And ask God to give you the garment of praise right now as we engage in praise, as we engage in jumping, leaping, glorifying God. Jumping, leaping, glorifying God. Jumping, leaping, glorifying God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, what we are doing this morning is high praise. Remember high praise? What is high praise? You do it like a drunkard. You do it like you are not conscious of anybody around you. Amen. So if you need some space, you can move around. You can live where you are standing and move to the eyes. Move a little bit to the front. Just manifest yourself anyhow. Manifest your uh, High. When you are high, you manifest anyhow. You don't care who is around you. And as that is happening, keep checking your body. You got healing. Stranger departed from your body. Something that used to be around you, hurting you, just disappeared. Sharp pain. Gone. Affliction. Gone. Headache, gone. Whatever used to be there, departed. You dance your way to the altar to come and share your own testimony. Let's go right now, choir. High praise. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. You are the most high. You are worthy.
yini kokoko oma e Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is a good God. Get seated. We'll be closing in a moment. We will um, ask those who came to share their testimony. All of you just come to the altar. Mention the cases and um, we will uh, just close. All of you, please come to the altar. Who came to share your testimony? A quick mention, please. Quick mention. Quick mention. Praise the Lord. Adejo Anthony. High blood pressure for over one year destroyed at the Wave altar of praise. Amen. Duru Ignatius, depression for several months now destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Adoranke Ojo, pains all over the body destroyed at the instance of praise. Rekia Abuba, 
Typhoid fever, malaria fever, all manner of fevers destroy right now the altar of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Everybody rise to your feet. So many testimonies. Some are still trying to submit their own to God. They don't be the glory forever. Lift up your hand. Let's give glory to God. We have to make room for the third service people to come in quickly <laughs> this week. My God. You have given thanks to God in this house. Many are waiting for you out there to be a part of your testimony. Give glory to God. Some wombs have opened up right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. You have done the will of God. This week, you will obtain the promise. You have celebrated God in the house. This week, people all around will come to celebrate you. This will be your best week ever. Before you recover from one testimony, another one will come on you. Go in peace. Enjoy the best of God. Confidently bring your two hands to your body and bless yourself with the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turn around. Then expect turn around to become your new identity from henceforth. And all of us together, loudly, we shall say, Amen. You are returning with your testimonies as you go from here in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In case you came into the service after the offering was taken, you can still cast your offerings with the officials at the entrances and at the altar here. As you do so, be richly blessed in Jesus' mighty name. If you are coming into the third service, you have a testimony you would like to share, please quickly get down to the basement. The officials are waiting to take down your name in the corner.